If you are preparing for NEET and want to score really well in NEET, the books that you choose to refer and read for NEET makes a huge impact on your understanding of the concepts, thereby your results. In this video, I will be sharing the best books for NEET. As I have cleared NEET, JE mains, KVPY just by self-study without any coaching, I am certain that these books will help you to understand the concepts better and score more in NEET. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. Before getting into that, I want to make a clarification here. If you are already following a certain book and if you are comfortable with that book, please don't change book now. Whatever I'm saying here are the books that I have read personally and I think those books will help you too. But if you are following some book, please don't get a new one just because I am recommending it. Whatever book you are reading, whether it is for my recommendation or the books that you have already, please cover it from top to bottom. Just stick with it and cover it from top to bottom. Don't care about getting a new one. Just stick with one book and follow that thoroughly. Okay, let's start with biology. As everyone keeps saying, NCRT biology is Bhagavad Gita for need. If you want to score really well in biology, you have to be thorough with NCRT biology. If you are thorough with NCRT biology, you can easily get about 80, 80 questions in need. Uh, a student of mine was asking, every topper says NCRT, you have to be just thorough with NCRT, just stick with NCRT. In contrast, stoppers will be referring so many other books, but they just tell everyone, just advise everyone that stick with NCRT. Yeah, I feel that is kind of true because I will refer to many other books than NCRT too. But the most important thing is you have to know each and every content with NCRT, then you can force it on with others. So for biology, you have to like know whatever is in NCRT biology and as well as NCRT exemplar. Second books that I have to bring into notice for biology is MTG NCRT at your fingertips. These are objective types of question which you will you can solve after completing a chapter in NCRT biology. The questions are derived completely from NCRT textbooks so you won't find it too difficult but there will be some new concepts in MTG fingertips question so make a note of those co different concepts. What I used to do is when, whenever I read a chapter in NCRT biology then I will come to MTG fingertips and solve like it will be 100 question for a chapter I will solve that 100 question within uh, 30 minutes or so. So take it like a mock test after every chapter and make a note that there will be some concept which is not in NCRT but it, the questions will be from other than NCRT 2 in MTG fingertips and make a special note of those concepts and if you stick with those concepts and the concept in NCRT you can easily tackle neat biology. Coming to chemistry, for chemistry 2 you have to refer to NCRT mainly especially for inorganic and organic chemistry. Most of the chemi chemistry questions in NEET will be from NCRT itself so don't neglect NCRT for chemistry. Coming to physical chemistry in particular, you can refer Narendra Avasti for physical chemistry. The problems and the concept mentioned there are really good and the questions are not too repetitive as in case of other books. And you can really get good hold on physical chemistry questions by solving them. And in physical chemistry, you have to just solve the problem and understand the concepts well. If you do this, you can easily uh, try any questions in need. For inorganic chemistry, as I said, stick with NCRT. I don't think you need concepts other than NCRT. But if you are, if you are interested to uh, read much more for inorganic chemistry, you can refer to J.D. Lee. It's a good book, but I recommend you to stick with NCRT because most of the question in inorganic chemistry will be from directly from NCRT. For organic chemistry, most of the questions will come from NCRT itself. 
but I recommend you all to know a bit more concept for organic chemistry because it will help you to solve the questions based on uh, reactions. So for organic chemistry, what I recommend is MS Chauhan problems in organic chemistry. And if you are really interested to know more about organic chemistry and if you want to get deep dive into organic chemistry, if you enjoy reading organic chemistry, I recommend the book that I have here. It is of Solomons and Fry. You can try, try it. It is really good. It has like a depth, in-depth theory for each and every mechanisms. So you can try it if you are really interested. But I recommend uh, just solving the question of MS Chauhan for NEET. So summarizing for chemistry, NCRT must for physical chemistry and inorganic organic. Coming to physical in particular, N Avasti, inorganic, I don't recommend anything, but if you want, you can get away with JD Lee. For organic, MS Chauhan, solve the problems of MS Chauhan, especially for NEAT, the NEAT book. Coming to the physics, I know most of the students feel physics as intimidating. Everyone are scared of physics, especially the one, uh, the NEAT aspirants who are not going to coaching. At least I was scared of physics. So the books that I recommend you to read for physics is one HC Verma. As everyone keeps repeating, it is a really Bhagavad Gita for physics and it has a really good concepts. And if you can't solve the questions in the exercise next after the chapter, please solve the solved examples in the chapter itself. So you can get a good idea of how to solve a problem and how to approach a problem. But if you cannot deal with HC Verma, it is perfectly okay. Even I was finding it difficult to understand in the beginning. It is perfectly okay. So if you feel HC Verma is difficult for you to understand, go ahead with DC Pandey. I find DC Pandey way more interesting than HC Verma because it is easy to grasp and there are uh, very easy questions you can get you can get idea of and if you're starting with physics please start with DC Pandey and you can go ahead with HC Verma in later part of your preparation. I will talk about which videos to refer in my next video so stay tuned and just like for physical chemistry in physics you have to understand the concepts you have to understand the derivations and then you have to solve as much problems as you can. Lastly after considering every subject, if you don't solve previous year question papers, you won't be having any idea about how a question is coming from a particular chapter. So I was using this book to refer to the previous year questions. What's special in this book is it has 32 years previous year paper and it makes NCRT references and wrapping it up for biology. Make sure you stick with NCRT and solve problems after completing a chapter for physics and for physical chemistry, solve as much problem as you can for inorganic stick with NCRT for organic understand the reactions well and understand the mechanism well and solve as much problems as you can. If you are going for a coaching or if you are not going for a coaching, I recommend you to get coaching materials from whichever coaching institutes you like. It, you can uh, borrow it from your seniors or your relatives or whoever you like. But I recommend to get coaching material from whichever coaching institute you prefer. It will be of immense help for you, especially if you are doing self-study and it will give an idea as to how you can proceed forward how how much you have to get covered in a particular chapter and how to solve a particular question you will get an idea like how you can proceed with self study you will get a solid plan to proceed forward with your preparation and when you have coaching material you will have everything covered in one place let that be theory part questions previous year questions previous year paper and test papers too so I highly recommend you to get a coaching material from whichever coaching institute like you like and uh, refer to that. What I used to do is first NCRT, then 
coaching material along with the reference book that I have mentioned. I used to solve questions, most of the questions from reference books that I have mentioned. And lastly, previous year questions. After solving every chapter, you have to solve previous year questions from that chapter. And one more thing is if you are preparing for need, and I highly recommend if you want to score really well in need, like 650 plus, I highly recommend you to take uh, JE mains question and solve them especially for uh, yeah for chemistry and for physics I used to solve JE main previous year questions for chemistry and it had, it has helped me really well I scored I guess 175 or something so it really helps you when you solve JE level questions so when you read uh, JE level questions when you can solve JE level questions you can easily solve need questions in a very small time so it will be really helpful for you if you know how to solve JE questions or how to solve difficult questions that was it for this video I hope it helped you and it gave an idea as to how to proceed forward in your preparation and make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and stay tuned for more updates don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and help me reach the students who are out there who are in need for guidance from a senior or from a brother consider me as a, your brother and i would be really happy to help you all and get connected with me through comments or get connected with me through instagram if you have any request please let me know if i can do anything i will definitely do that thanks for watching hope you all are doing great See you all in my next video.